Okay. What is going on, guys? As you can see, we are back with... Oh, 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 oh. We are back with... Oh, my God, dude. Why is there so many people shooting at me at the same time, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, this guy's still in here. Dude, what the oh, heck? Oh, he at me. Yeah, what? We are back with a brand new video. We are going to be using the MP5 in today's video. And we're going to be talking about this bad boy. Do I consider it an MP5 a top-tier gun? Probably so. Maybe second best. Maybe third best. MP5 is definitely has a lot of potential. It's not a horrible gun to speak, but obviously there's a better gun like the 74U. And you're probably wondering why Apathy you're using the MP5. You are kind of shitting on kids, but why are you using it? Obviously for the video to show you guys a class setup I'm trying and just using in general. It's a part of the reason why I'm using it. But also, MP5, will it join the pro player meta? Now, this thing does have some range. Obviously, I do have a good shot. You can check out Aim Academy for some tips. Pros are trying to see how to fix the current meta. It's not horrible, but it's not necessarily the the best. It can be a little better. Um, you have the gun like the AK-74U, which is very more of a do-it-all type of gun. It definitely has some absurd range. Um, it has very good damage, uh, very good oppose, etc., etc. Yeah. There's uh, definitely some issues right now with the guns being more of do-it-all guns. I think they want the gun to do what they're supposed to do the best. So, for example, a submachine gun is supposed to be really good Fuck, dude. up close. It's supposed to be dominant up close. And an AR should be very dominant with range. But both guns shouldn't be able to take over at all ranges oh. and whatnot. So... The current meta is good, but it could be better. That's why MP5 is being talked about. Um, it's kind of just like a up in the air type of thing. Obviously, it's not something that can... Okay. Okay. He's like, damn, okay, hit your shots then. MP5 is not something that I can 100% see happening. It's not like, oh, it's happening for sure, but it is being talked about. It is a possibility. And I actually like the MP5 in this game more than MW. I wonder what you guys think. Do you guys like the MP5 more in this Call of Duty? Or an MW, leave it down below in the comments below, down below, down below. Dude, what is, is this is a new sub, right? The LC, this thing's actually absurd. It feels really fast. So right now I'm using the MP5 class that um, basically I would use an actual competitive match and trying it out and seeing how good and effective it is. Oh it's actually pretty solid. It still has some good range, like a 74U, slightly less, but still some good range. Um, I know it kills a little bit slower, I think. In, in some ranges compared to 74U. But I still, I like it. I like it. It's definitely, if I saw this gun in the Krig, I could definitely see where it, there would be some balance involved. Like if, it, if oh. Uh, uh, cut that, cut that, beep. But if it was the Krig and MP5, I definitely could see where there's some sort of balance to the meta and it would actually be pretty solid. Obviously you have the gun like the MP5, um, slightly, it's still a good gun, but just a slightly worse version than 74U, which is fine because obviously 74U is pretty OP. It's a pretty uh, broken gun. And then you have the gun like the Krig, again, a very good AR, but just not a do it all in a sense AR. Like the MP5 should be able to out damage it close up. Get shot punch. And um, so I can see where the meta actually wouldn't be that bad now after using this MP5 and having some raw thoughts. Okay, this thing, once you get used to it, it's actually pretty damn solid. And I kind of like it. So back to what I was saying. In the current meta, XM4, uh, 74U, I definitely don't think the MP5 belongs in that meta. But if you were to remove those two out of the equation, MP5, I definitely can see it being used. It definitely can be actually quite effective. And pretty damn solid. Especially, like I said, after using it a decent amount, I see the potential of this weapon. It's actually fun. Like, I genuinely actually have fun shooting this gun. I think one of the cons of the MP5 too is that other than some of the stuff I mentioned, like less range, um, harder to shoot, etc., 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 it actually has a slightly faster fire rate than a 74U. And if you have a 30 round mag, you definitely notice when you run out of ammo. Like, you run out of ammo kind of quickly. So that is the downside. I have I have tried a 40 round mag um, class instead of the muzzle. Um, maybe I don't know. After using it a lot, maybe you would have to actually make that sacrifice, like use use a 40 round mag instead of using the muzzle. But thing is, without the muzzle, this gun becomes even harder to shoot. 
And by harder, I mean a lot harder. It's probably going to be kind of bad at that point. Damn, there's everywhere, huh? See, I killed two guys. I got to reload already. I can't, like, going for three kills with this amount of ammo. Just with my last, my last bullet right there. God, I think some cracks probably. Um, yeah, after two kills, it's like going for a third kill with 30 rounds on MP5, especially at range, is almost going to be non existent. So after two kills, max, you're going to have to reload every time. But 74U, you, you can get three. Shit, sounds like you can get four, bro. That gun is crazy. Oof, got three just in time. Like I said, for range, it'd be hard, but you can still get three if they're more up range, up close kills because you would kill faster. Sub dominance. Can I do this back? I actually can. Cool, I didn't know that. So, explain something really quickly so nobody is that confused about it. Um, right now, Call of Duty or just in metas in general, like the pros and everyone's trying to have a healthy balance meta where, like I mentioned before, but a gun is just not a do it all gun. Like a 74U, we can all agree, is a do it all gun. I can kill a guy from here to all the way, like cross the map, like actually kind of. Not, I want to say easily, but it's actually pretty doable. And a sub should not be able to do that, right? We can all agree with that. An XM4, like, has some absurd range, and you can argue back as well. It is freaking dominant up close. Like, that has, that gun has insane fire rate. Like, it actually can, time to kill is pretty absurd. And it's just, again, a kind of a do-it-all gun. So, a lot of submachine guns are complaining about the XM4 because it is pretty nasty. And then the ARs, obviously, the only good gun they actually have is the XM4. And if we take it away, then you got to find a balance. You got to either nerf the 74U, you got to take away attachments from the 74U. There has to be a healthy balance involved in order to um, make the meta fair because then it becomes sub heavy or AR heavy. So that's why um, there is this, you know, there's a stop behind it, and it's a possibility where you can see the 74U being agreed to just not be used it's the best submachine gun in the game and that way um you can use like xm4 is fine if it's out any other ar is fine if it's out and then it'd be like a krig meta so it'd be basically the krig which the krig again it's just a gun where it's very dominant from range right the range is absurd the range is absolutely absurd it has really good range but it's not so dominant up close like the 74u actually outclasses the krig pretty pretty well most of the time um, up close and that's where there will be a healthier meta with mp5 and the krig as a possibility you can see like this gunfight with a 74u is very easy you can see the gun is hard to shoot if i were to challenge this guy i mean there's a possibility i could kill him but the chances are way lower with an mp5 so guys if you're wondering what my mp5 class setup is i'm gonna go ahead and explain that right now now i am using perk read i like to use perk read in pubs just for the fact that you can run Ninja and Ghost, which is a pretty big deal. I don't want to just run Ghost or just run Ninja. So I like running Perk Read if I'm running five attachments. For my attachments, I got the good old muzzle break. The thing is about Infantry Compensator, it adds to the horizontal, and I'm not a big fan of horizontal recoil, especially on the MP5. But both probably, I think I've used the Compensator before. It's not horrible, but I do like the muzzle break. Um, I was running the extended barrel, which is probably going to be the barrel we will be using if the MP5 joins the meta because you obviously don't want to put anything insane on it. If not, it might become a little OP. We got the nice speed grip. We got the airborne elastic wrap and we got the Raider stock. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little MP5 possibility with the meta, new meta, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. More info soon, later. Hope you guys don't forget to subscribe. Check out my older videos and then, you know, new meta video coming by soon. Official. Bye.